I hope this provocative title caught your attention. Well, the reason I say don't tell your husband is I just want you to understand um, how men view cosmetic surgery or cosmetic uh, fillers or things like that for women. Um, I listened to this audio book about how men and women think differently. And uh, what I heard in this audio book is, and I'm a heterosexual male, so I can tell you this is, is true. Uh, men want women to look incredibly attractive, but they don't want to hear about how they got there. They don't want to hear about leg waxing. They don't want to hear about Botox. They don't want to hear about hair curling and things like that. They just assume that their wife will look amazingly attractive with no effort. And that's how they conceptualize uh, their wife to be sort of like Venus coming from the, the ocean. So um, I, I have found my fun, one of the funniest stories is this uh, woman from Houston uh, never told her husband anything and she was getting treatments and, and over the years her husband just looked at her one day and just said, honey, it's so weird. You have the weirdest genes because you progressively look younger and I just look, will look worse and worse. Um, and I, I, of course, I don't want you not to tell your husband and get in trouble or ruin a marriage or anything. I'm, I'm, I'm happily married. And, and of course, I would love for my wife not to not tell me something uh, clearly. But what I've heard is oftentimes is you know, when the wife asks the husband, could I get some fillers? Oh, don't do it. And the usual reasons is it's a waste of money. We, we don't want to spend that money. Or second is, you know, you're going to look totally crazy like your friend. And I don't do crazy work. You're not going to look crazy. In fact, I just finished this lady a few minutes ago. And this is the reason I thought of this, this podcast is that she was just like, you know, so worried to do this because her husband will freak out and, you know, don't make, don't, don't look fake. Don't do lips because you're going to look fake. And I don't do fake lips. And I showed her some before and afters on my lips. She goes, oh, my God. But she didn't need the lips done. So, um, you know, the way to guide this, if you said, look, I wanted to, I have to tell my husband. He's going to pay for it or whatever. Maybe if you're going to tell him a few things that I did pre-COVID is I actually had a, a gentleman, as, uh, I told, told this woman, I said, bring your husband in. Have him come in here. Watch me do the filler. I'll show you what every penny you spend, and I'll show you how I design it, and you can see one side versus the other. And it's funny that right after I did hers, he said, I want mine. So he sat down in the chair and did his. But it's a way for someone to be, understand that I'm not going to do crazy work. So either at this time, during the COVID time, I can't have your husband come in here. But, um, you know, any other time after this is over, if you hear this podcast in 2022, hopefully you'll remember that, hey, hopefully COVID is over by then and, and that, you know, I can have a spouse come in here and look at it. The other thing is just to say, honey, look, I've, this doctor has treated a lot of my friends. He's not going to make me look crazy. Let's look at some before and afters um, and, uh, and show you that they, they don't look weird. It's, you know, it's not like down the street. And the other thing is important is to say, if you tell your husband, look, this means a lot to me, you know, and this woman was saying that her husband is a, they just got a pilot's license. And, you know, for her, she doesn't care about being a, you know, a pilot's license. Who cares about flying? But for him, it meant a lot. Well, I said, look, you can say, honey, this means a lot to me. Not, hey, you know, he's going to put a filler here and there. And it's incredibly hard to articulate for uh, a male to understand this. Um, so this is the thing. And, and then also the concern is, well, my husband noticed men don't even notice if you change your hair to blonde. You know, men, heterosexual male, male, males or men don't oftentimes notice some radical changes. Because my work is so subtle, you know, it's that I usually say, come up with a white lie, like, you know, hey, I just had, I had some swelling from a, uh, uh, some allergies or eating some shellfish or whatever it may be. And a lot of men don't even notice this. And again, I don't want to ruin a relationship or a marriage, but there are tactical ways to tell your spouse about fillers, other things, lifts, procedures, whatever it may be that he's, he or she in particular would be concerned that you're going to look fake. So hopefully this podcast will give you some insight of how to address this with your spouse.